Hey guys, worship. Hello everyone. So today's gonna be another video of us asking each other questions. Shout out to Haley, cause she was the one who said that we should do this. She had a, the great idea of like us answering these questions so like you guys can get to know us better. Um. So I found 20 questions on the internet and Haley actually sent in one question. Oh, she did? Uh-huh, for us to answer. Oh. So we'll start, I guess we can start with that one. Who are your role models? Who do you guys look up to? Who are your role models? Who do you look up to? My mom. Why is your mom your role model? She's very caring. She's very loving with the people that, you know, are her family. And she's gone through a lot of shit. And she's still a really great person. Yeah. Definitely my mom. A little bit my sister. Just a little bit. Depends on the day. <laughs> Depends on the day. But she's really strong too. And she's a hard worker. She hustles. You? Um, I don't know if I really have any, which is sad to say. <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't think I have one specific role model, I kind of just get, I guess, inspired by everyone I know a little bit, no, okay, when I say everyone I know, I mean everyone, like, that I enjoy. <laughs> I think, like, yeah, like, just just certain people, like, everyone that I, like, care about, like, has this, I guess, I would say rubs off on me a little bit, you know, like, you, like, I definitely feel like you, you help me be stronger as like a like a person who st tries to stand up for themselves more because I'm definitely a pushover and I know that for a fact I know who I am and I'm a pushover but you've helped me not be as much of one <laughs> like I still am but I'm not as pushy ovary as when we met two years pushy ago ovary <laughs> people I'm close to like it, it's just everyone inspires me like Haley she's super hard working you know That's she's true. got a girl little girl and she works hard for her Maggie inspires me because she's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, she she's is. just fucking funny. Caitlin is another hard worker because she's like really ded dedicated to her job and the That's kids true. that she teaches. Like, yeah, your your family has little moments. Not moments, but like they do things. I'm like, I appreciate that. You know? Mm -hmm. Like everyone has their own little things they do. Nuances that I'm like, That's cool. So this question number two, we're only going to do ten. What hobby have you always wanted to develop? Ooh, I wish I was really fucking athletic, like, super fit. Like, the gym was my life. Like, I wish that was a hobby of mine. Like, you know, because a hobby is, like, something you enjoy doing. But every time I go to the gym, I'm like... What about you? Honestly, same. Because I want to like the gym and, like go like I literally I'll tell myself in my head of like all right you're gonna start going to the gym this minute like this like all, all the time and then like it's like the morning and I'm like when I'm supposed to like get up to go and I'm like no I'm fucking tired like I don't know how people do it like they get like maybe seven hours of sleep every night and they're totally good yeah they're like oh my god what a beautiful day like they wake or like, up like not that. they don't even wake up like that like that's not realistic Fine. or they but wake up and they're like Oh, they wake I up to go to the gym. Yeah, and they wake up. up and like actually make themselves go do something. Like yeah. I can do that for school and I can do that for work, but I like, can't even do that for both. I literally wait until like I'm like, oh, I have a five minute grace period at work. I'm gonna use it. Like <laughs> I'm really bad. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> What's your favorite physical attribute about yourself? I don't know. Probably my calves. <laughs> <laughs> I have good calves. You do. I do. I have good calves. They're like muscular when I don't even have to try. So muscular. my calves. My eyebrows. Like the only thing, my eyebrows. Your I eyebrows are really great. I was blessed. Where did you and your best friend meet? This is a great story, actually. Oh. So it was my first year, I'm gonna try to make it quick. Okay, go. It was my first year going to public school. I was in the sixth grade and I walked into my class late because <laughs> I couldn't find it. And I sat down and everyone was like, 
hey Haley, hey Haley, like hi Haley, how are you Haley, like how was your summer, but, and I was like, everybody likes Haley, like everybody's so like, like they care about her so much, or you know what I mean, like they're just like so interested in her, like she must be super friendly, you know, and she was of course friendly because she was like, oh hey, like yeah, blah, 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 like this is my summer, blah, 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 oh like hi, how are you, you know, like she was super nice, and I was like, I'm gonna be friends with her. <laughs> And then whatever the whole day goes by and then I had this class with this girl Michaela. I had that class with her actually. I don't think I had that class with her. I don't remember, but I had like three classes with her and the last one was with Haley or with Michaela? No, with Michaela. Okay. The last one was PE. And um I guess Michaela like was like, "Oh, we have three classes together. Like are you new?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm new." And she was like, "Oh, where did you go to school whatever?" And I told her. And she was like, "Okay, so like you really are like completely new. Like you didn't go to like the middle school or whatever around here and whatever." So she was like, "Let me introduce you to my friends." And one of them was Haley. <laughs> and I was like, "Yes." And basically ever since then we became friends and she was super nice and to this day she's my she's part of my family, so that's how we met. Shout out to Haley. Shout out to Nugget. <laughs> Luge. Mm -hmm. My oldest best friend, um, which I would would be Brie, because I've had her. I've known her since I was 16, 17, one of those. Um, we funny enough met at church, <laughs> and yeah, that's how we met. We met at church. Um, I don't remember the specifics super well, but we met like during one like the summer things, like a volunteer thing, because I used to be like pretty involved in my church, kind of. And I remember when I remember I remember when I lost my mind. I think she, because I'm really shy, so like obviously she was the one who had to talk to me first. Yeah. Shark diving, bungee jumping, or skydiving. But I guess if I had to, fuck. I think probably shark diving. Yep. I, I want to do that. Like, not like, oh my god, I have to. Like, I, like, that's what I want to do, like, before I die. But, like, shark diving as in, like, in I'm in a kill. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Yeah. What is the weirdest scar you have, and how did you get it? Okay, I have two. Two. One is right here. You probably can't see it. Right there. Probably not. I was helping this one girl that I was friends with. I was helping her with her, like, costume for Halloween or something and I got hot glue on me and I was like fuck like this shit fucking hurts blah 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 like it was literally like a drop that's why it's a drop scar and she was like oh you're just like a pussy whatever and I got a fucking scar from it you fucking bitch like <laughs> and then the other one it's on my shin and it's like three inches long and it was when I was a kid I think I was in the fifth grade and I remember I saw this girl in my class and she had hairy legs like hairy legs I was like traumatized by looking at her legs like I was like oh my god are my legs hairy and I'm not realizing that either it was like the first time I had like taken a shower by myself like without my mom or whatever but then I was like oh my god I should shave my legs I went like this oh, and no. I went you like carved your leg yeah at first I was like going nice and like light and I was like I feel like it's not doing anything and my sister was like try going a little harder and I was like harder <laughs> and I went like that and a whole that three inches of skin came off and it was gushing blood and wow. I didn't have hairy legs <laughs> I have a scar two it's from the same thing I have this one on my eyebrow. There's one here, but it's like faded more now. It used to be really obvious you when I was younger. You can see in person. Yeah, but it used to be really obvious when I was younger. I was 18 months. Apparently, I was learning how to walk, which, yeah. And my mom's cat, his name was Chess. He thought I was fucking trying to square up with him, apparently. <laughs> so he got mad and he fucking went right across. And apparently, if I didn't blink, I'd be blind. Tell me about the best vacation you've ever taken. We're gonna have the same answer. <laughs> it was England last yeah. year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember it being fun when I was a kid, but like last year was like, you know, besides the fact that I went with my fiance, I was an adult. I got to do what the fuck we wanted. Like we, we went to London and we walked around. We did literally whatever we wanted for like the entire week. And like, we stayed with my nan, shout out to my nan. Who, shout like, out nan! <laughs> who like, she, you know, room and boarded us for the week. And yeah, it was just really cool. And we, 
I, England's just really great, and we literally talk about how we want to go back every fucking day. Every day. day. Mm -hmm. Usually multiple times a day. Yeah. I know the answer to this question, but what's your favorite Disney movie? Ratatouille. Why is it your favorite movie? Um, first of all, the food looks dank as fuck. <laughs> and my mom, for any, you know, Spanish-speaking people out there, she used to always call me her rata. She would call me that because I was really small and I could fit literally anywhere you put me, like a rat. I've been cooking since I was, like, six. So she was like, oh my god, you're ratatouille. Like, it's a cooking rata. Like, that's you. Like, <laughs> so, you know, that movie has a special place in my heart. I fucking love Moana. I think Moana is one of the best movies that ever come out. I love the music. I love the story. I just, I love it all. I am a Moana fan through and through, for sure. Moana is a great one. Yeah. And when I was a little kid, I used to love the fox and the hound, like, a lot. Never so. seen it. It's cute and sad. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. I don't know. It just depends. I guess like, I, I don't, I guess it's more so I don't, I believe in them all the time, but like, I don't know what exactly they are all the time. Like, are they fucking spirits? Like, you know, physical, like apparitions you can see, or are they just kind of like invisible things that are everywhere all, all the time that we just, you know, they just, they're here mm -hmm. chilling. So I don't know. Which of your accomplishments are you most proud of? Damn, I was hoping you wouldn't ask that one. You know what? I've been wanting to go to England since I was like 13 and I finally went and it's just like one of those things where I never ever thought I would go like I was like I'm probably gonna be like 30 or something if I ever even go like it's gonna be like so much money like I'm not gonna be able to afford it like it just seemed it was just like one of those things where it's like oh like I wish I could go one day but like I probably won't that one probably just because i've like dreamed about it for so long i mean i feel like you know people have a little accomplishments every day especially when you suffer from like a mental illness that's a good answer i think one of my best ones besides you know marrying you i was gonna say that but i was like i don't want to be cheesy <laughs> i was i i think going back to school because i have i don't want to say quit but i had to stop because i couldn't afford it uh twice so I had one year, my year after I graduated high school, I didn't go to school for reasons that I was not a good worker in high school. I was fucking lazy as shit. I'm still lazy, but I'm smarter lazy now. Um, I'm still lazy. And then I had to stop after I like had another year off because it was finances. And then I had, I took off two years recently because once again, because of finances. Now I'm finally in ability to afford it because I don't. Because we're poor. Yeah. Shout out financial aid. I know that a lot of people who stop school don't ever go back. That's it. Peace, See you guys. in the next one. Peace.